Mama Tobes? Mama. Uh. Yesterday we went to a birthday party with Toby and Scotty, and everyone was so shocked that he's just 10 months old. Right? Because Toby looks like he's a year and a half. In fact, this little boy shares clothes with Scotty, who's turning three in a few months. <laughs> Hi, Sky Fam. Say good morning, Sky Fam. <laughs> Are you my twin? Are you my twin? <gasps> Who's that? Hello. Who's that? Hello, baby. Is that Dada? <laughs> oh, sit down properly. Oh no, Dad! Help! Yeah. Daddy kiss. Go to daddy first. I'll open the window. Your teeth, ma, looks like chiclets. Yeah, they have so cute. big teeth. I'll open the window here for my air. Good morning, Tobes! <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. Go, 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 Surprise for you and Tebu. I don't know if you're gonna like it. <laughs> no. Hey, God. Go. Okay. Okay, very good. Fingers away. Yeah, okay. Go. Go. There. Okay, put it down. Thanks, babe. I think I do. Yogurt! Do you like it? It's yummy. Do you Maybe like surprises? He's, <laughs> under, <laughs> he's underwhelmed. <laughs> Tebu loves that yogurt. See? Tebu's taller than you. Tebu's taller than you now. I die. Tebu's taller. <laughs> Tebby and you are partners, okay? You're best friends. So if anybody's in trouble, the other one has their back. Okay? The planet. What are the other planets in the solar system aside from planet Earth? I don't know. You know, Oi. What about the black hole? 
What does it do? It soups up everything. It soups soup. It sucks everything. That's right. How about aliens? Do aliens exist? No. You don't think they exist? When you go to them, they exist. When you go to them, they exist? Yeah. What do, what do aliens look like, babe? They look like wild animals. They look like wild animals? Yeah. What do astronauts do in the International Space Station? They soak up. They soak up, why? Because they tell me I didn't know. Their tummies aren't used to outer space? Yeah. There's no gravity there, huh? So how do they pee if there's no gravity? They'll be in the pee pipe. That's right. How do they sleep? They sleep in the wall. Yeah. What about when they brush their teeth? They put their teeth in the fair. What? What about when they comb their hair? They their hair flies up up above their head because there's no gravity, right? They, they, they comb their hair in their neck. In their neck? Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell me what's the name of the dwarf planet? Pluto. Pluto, yeah. What about the planet that's the hottest? Mars. Mars isn't the hottest, it's a red planet. But Mars is, but red is but red is, but red is hot. Red looks like it's gonna be the hottest planet, huh? Remember Venus? No. no. Venus is the hottest planet. Are you done with learning about planets today? Yeah. Okay. I'm going back to planet Earth. Okay, let's go back to planet Earth. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to try my bubble. No, don't even try. I'll give, go. You lift with that. Uh, you try that first. You try that. Go. One, two, three. Wow. And then down. And then down. And then up. There. Wow. And then down. And then up. Wow. The bigger one. Mine is like yours. Okay. That's the baby. Whoa. Wow. It is 9.30 in the morning and this mama is already so freaking exhausted. I think the reason why I became skinny so fast, a lot of people ask me like how I lost weight so fast. I think it's because my two boys are so active and I'm such a hands-on mom. Sevi is 26 pounds already at 10 months old. I'm really happy that he's such a big healthy boy, but gosh, even if I'm not working out, I think the only time I worked out was when I vlogged it <laughs> like a few weeks ago. That was the only yoga session that I did in like four months. <laughs> but I'm getting skinnier and skinnier. In fact, I'm just 95 pounds. I don't know why. I, that's the skinniest I've ever been. When I got married to Slater, I was 98 pounds. Before I got pregnant, I was 98 pounds and now I'm 95 pounds. And I haven't been dieting. I haven't been working out. I highly, highly think it's because I'm a boy mom. <laughs> We're getting ready today because we are going to my mom's Place, the Oi household. It's gonna be Sunday lunch as per usual. It's a Sunday today and we're gonna go live in a few minutes. 9.42. I'm just 
clocking in. This is usually where I go live with you guys because if I stay outside, then the kids will attack me and I can't go live. <laughs> Sometimes when I have meetings, I hide in my closet too because this is literally the only place where it's not super noisy outside. Let's get ready together. So a few updates. If you have not been following my weird eye cyst journey, there is a cyst under my eye that's been protruding and it makes it look like I have giant eye bags. Last thing that we did was Dr. Bello injected some sort of steroids that they use for pimples to kind of make it sink and go deeper but she injected like this really low dose amount because she's scared that if she injects a lot it sink and it will create under my eye so she injected like a one third of it lang or something I feel like it's shrinking because I can't really see it as much now but it's still there see in some angles you can see it. it makes it look like I have really big eye bags because it's like a sharp point here right where my eye bag ends kind of and if I poke it I can still feel it, but it's really getting smaller. Doc said I should update her in about three days from now. For my vision, I update. Something that I've been doing wrong is that I have not been hydrating my eyes at all. They did give me this hydrogel, which you're supposed to use every four to six hours, but I have not been doing that, which is probably why in the morning, sometimes my vision is a little bit blurry. It's because of my dry eyes. So I'm gonna make it a point to keep hydrating my eyes more. I spoke to one of my friends who also did Smile Pro, and they said they still do it like Forever, like forever na yun, maintenance na yun yung eye drops. So hopefully that makes my eyesight a lot better. But it's just in the morning. I feel like it's a little bit hazy in the morning, but throughout the day it improves. Hopefully with the eye drops that goes away. Lat ng updates ko sa inyo beauty related. My hair has been growing. I'm so happy. Super konti na lang yung falling hair ko. And whenever I'm getting ready or doing a hairstyle, I can see a lot of baby hair, which makes me so happy. I have been doing a lot of things. Of course, using my Kerastase serum, and then I did that PRP at Clinique de Paris. They draw your blood, they extract the plasma out of it, and inject it back into your scalp. It's a whole thing. I really like it. I feel like it's super duper effective. It's 15,000 pesos per session, but I think it's really worth it. Honestly, feeling ko, that was really the biggest difference. I've also been doing hair treatments with Fendi at his salon in Makati, and it's just kind of like his special concoction of stuff to make your scalp healthier, and I feel like that's been helping too. So I've just been doing everything that I can. Also, because I want my hair to grow faster because I hate my hairstyle. Um, it's still mullet. As you can see, I still have a really difficult time styling it because salikod oh, parang may bangs ako salikod ng buko. It's so short. So every time I kind of do a ponytail or a bun, everything just falls to my face, which is why you see me wearing hairpins all of the time. This is a concealer that I really, really like using. It was recommended by Risa, my makeup artist, and it is by the same. It's a the same tip concealer. A little goes a long way, and what I like to do is apply it really low here because I have that really weird cyst thing. So if I apply it really low, um, it kind of brightens the area right there on my eye bag. Look less eye bag easy. That's just a little trick for you. Um, another update is I have been loving all my treatments at Bello Cebu, but there's this one freckle here. If you guys are an OG follower of my videos, then you will know that I had three big freckles here that I got treated at Bello. They had this machine called Pikachuure, and it removed those three pigmentations, but I feel like the biggest one here, parang meron pa rin siya. I don't know if you can see it, but I wanted to do another round of Pikachuure to get rid of it, but I think their machine is still being fixed or something so hopefully we can address this also in the future and then yay, no more weird sunspots on my face. I like the difference because before it was and it was so obvious but now not so clear. I love it. More updates. I took Scotty to big school. We call it big school. It's just his preschool that I'm enrolling him in in the next school year and he was so scared about it. I think you guys saw that in the previous vlog that he wasn't so sure he was ready to go because he thought it would be a strict school. The teacher would be a lot stricter because you know Yaya always tells him, oh when you go to big school you can't do this anymore, you can't do that anymore, you can't wear diapers anymore. So he was scared that it would be a really strict school and he wouldn't like it. But I took him there and he really enjoyed it. In fact, he didn't want to go home. He was super excited to learn. The the teacher actually showed him an artwork that one of the students made and it was of the solar system. And the teacher was like, Scotty, look at this. What do you think about this? And immediately when Scotty saw the solar system, he was like, where's a black hole? And the teacher was like, how does this kid know what a black hole is? Like, that's amazing. And then he started talking about, you know, the International Space Station, how astronauts pee in space and how there's no gravity. And then I told him, okay, Scotty, can you show teacher? where planet Earth is, where do you live? And then he started pointing it out. And then he said, okay, this is Saturn because Saturn has all of the rings. And the teacher was just so impressed and mind blown at how like he knows all of these things. And you know, he hasn't really been to any kind of formal school, but I think, you know, Sater and I were talking about it last night. I think what really helps Scotty is us 
really talking to him as if he's an adult. Like every time he asks me why, I will try to answer to the best of my ability in a way that he can understand. Like I, I never think that he's too small to understand. Like in my head, he can always understand all of the concepts. It's just a challenge for me to explain it to him. And every time he reads books and I try to explain things to him, like I always make sure that I'm not just reading the story, but I'm explaining like why the drawings are how they are or asking him what he can see, how what he can observe in the story. And I think that's really been helping him because you can see the wheels turning in his head the moment he's interested in something or he's learning something. These things that he picks up like astronauts, gravity, International Space Station or whatever, everything else that he knows that is kind of advanced for his age it's just because it's something that he was curious about and we explained it to him and then he just never forgot it. So that's just really, really amazing to me. I'm so happy about that. And I'm really happy that he's excited to go to big school. I always thought that when he goes to big school, we would stop including him in the vlogs. And that's still kind of 80% what I want to do right now. But when I told him that I would stop including him in the vlogs, the man, he felt bad. He wanted to be part of it. I guess because he knows, you know, mom's gonna be part of it, dad's gonna be part of it, Sevi's gonna be part of it, so he also wants to be part of it. But my concern lang is, you know, I really don't want him to resent me in the future. I'm just scared that that's gonna happen, but we're still finding the balance also because I know Scott makes a lot of people happy, me included, and basically the reason why we're putting him out on the vlogs is because we wanna see these moments with him. And when he sees himself on our videos, he remembers all of these things that he would otherwise have forgotten and he just loves it, you know? He loves seeing it, he, he laughs at his jokes, he laughs at seeing himself, his, he always asks me to see how he was like when he was this age or, you know, what he was doing when he was in this place or that place. It's just something that we've created for ourselves that we're so happy and fortunate that a lot of people also enjoy. I know you guys love him and would love to keep seeing him, but you know, as a parent, I'm torn because I just want what's best for him, but I don't know what that is yet. I don't know yet. I don't know what to do. I think you guys are also stressed out already hearing my voice. Um, I'm just gonna get ready really fast and then let's head out. All right, guys, this is the look for today. Very yum. I'm just wearing these Love Bonito jeans. Um, this Zara top that is actually the other way around. It's the one that has this like weird V thing supposedly in front, but I moved it to the back, flipped the top around, and just kind of hid the top in my bra. And because my bra is kind of too big for this top and it's peeking through under and it's color purple, I decided to wear a purple cardigan on top to kind of pull the look together. Chanel bag, earrings from Jacatel, JMA, and a mix of other stuff. Just put my hair up in a ponytail, love bonito sandals, and we are good to go. Let me help. Ready? Uh, uh, uh. Almost. Almost. Uh. Yeah. Uh. <sighs> Look at his nose. But ningo to my you. You? Wait. Dodo is not you. So Sevi is very good at balancing now. Oh, one hand up, one hand up. Hey. Oh, <laughs> are you, baby? Wow. Here. Oh, oh no. <laughs> what happened? Now it's on the floor. <laughs> you said hui. Yay. Oh. The big potato. Meanwhile, Scotty Boo. Is watching TV. Lost in the television. <laughs> what you watching? Blaze. Blaze. Okay. Shout out to my doctor. Hi, Doc. I know you won't let me say your name, bro. She's Doc something. <laughs>
before. Tonight we're gonna watch a movie. Our first movie in four years. Our first movie in four years in the movie house. We're gonna be watching Hobbs's favorite. What is it, love? Titanic. <laughs> it's gonna be. Say it. John Wick. <laughs> Slater loves John Wick. The tent? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go. You go inside the tent? Go. Someone's excited to ride the zip line. 
Hi, Tobes! <laughs> Hi, Selena girl! Wow! <laughs> Whoa! You wanna jump? Go! Jump! Jump! Daddy will hold you! Jump! Are you sure, Dad? Go ahead. There! Whoa! Whoa was that? that was a that high was jump! Run! Yeah, it's so high! Can mommy ride it? Can mommy ride with you? Okay. Suck your tummy in. Ready? Oh, Sabina, put Uh, Jump by yourself. Try. But I will hold you. It's okay. Okay. I'll hold you. Ready? Set? Wow. So high. Oi. No, oi. Did you enjoy my love? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ready, Debbie? Set. Go! <laughs> Run away from Scotty Tom! Ah! Run away! Run away! Oh, ah! no. Run away, Toby! Run away! Oh. Run away! Oh, no. Hello, everyone. This is my evening fit. We're gonna go watch a movie. It's been so long. Thank you. Thank you. Are there matching water bottles? So Tita and Tito. Mm -hmm. 